Hi everyone, and welcome to 2328, um, American Literature Since 1865. This video is going to walk you guys through your syllabus um, fairly quickly. There's a lot of information here, so make sure you have uh, the downloaded copy on your computer and you're following along as I go through all of this. Um, so, uh, this is an online course, of course. We go from August 29th through December 15th. You'll get three hours of credit, and then if you need my email, my name is Brittany Estes. If you need my email, um, it's brittany.estes at my.tccd.edu. Um, <clears throat> essentially, American since 1865, um, we're going to be looking at a lot of different um, cultural and sociological and historical influences on literature um, from the end of the Civil War up through uh, postmodern literature. So um, we have a few course goals here. One is critical thinking skills. We're making sure that we're really using our, our inquiry and analysis skills. Um, communication, so I'm trying to get you guys to use not only written communication, but communication with one another as well. Um, teamwork, there is a little bit of peer work involved in this course. And um, again, personal responsibility. A lot of this course is gonna be semi-self-paced, so you're gonna be responsible for making sure that you get your assignments done on time um, with the highest quality that you can get them done with. Um, as far as our learning outcomes, uh, I'm going to let you go ahead and read those for yourself, but um, we are really working on strengthening argumentation analysis and um, uh, critical reading skills here. Um, so there's a few things, here's the important things, the things that you really need. You need um, access, obviously, to Blackboard, so if you're on here, congratulations, you've already got that done. Um, if you are going to need a few bits of software, make sure you have things like Flash enabled. Um, and then the textbooks that you will need, there is... There are three volumes of the textbook that you'll need for this class, um, and they're sold together. Um, so it's volume C, D, and E. And um, I, I don't care which version you have, quite honestly. It's, it's going to be, um, you know, if you have an older version, the page numbers will be different, um, and you maybe have a, one or two things that are different. But um, the current edition is the eighth edition, so that's the one I would prefer just to make it easiest on all of us. Um, and then anything else that you need will be provided by me online. So Blackboard is really important. If you've never used Blackboard, if you're fairly new to the online course uh, system, it's really important that you understand exactly how Blackboard works and all of the different facets and things it can do. So I have a video for you in your first week that will walk you through all of that. Um, so make sure you're really exploring Blackboard and understanding all of, all of the uh, many, many things that it can do. Um, as I said, instruction will be semi-self-paced, so we have a 16-week class, and it's going to be divided into five units, I mean, uh, five, uh, <laughs> three five-week units, um, and uh, roughly, and each unit is open so that you can explore within the unit, um, the whole unit, so you'll have the full five weeks available to you, and then once that unit is over, I'll put the next unit up so we're all on the same page for each unit. Um, <clears throat> As I said, this uh, course has three units, and each one has a major unit essay. So um, <clears throat> the first one is our New American Identity. That's going to take us from 1865 up to about 1914. Um, and then we'll have a unit essay there that's worth 20%. Um, the, the literature during the Great War, so the World War I and World War II, is going to be our second unit, and that's going to be 25% of your, uh, your course grade. And then our third one is postmo postmodern lit, so that will be... Um, from 1945 up through um, current literature, so that will be 20% of your grade. And then all that together is going to be 65% of your grade. The remaining 35% um, comes from quizzes, um, those will be 10%, writing assignments, so those will be major writing assignments that aren't essays, but they're still extended writing assignments, those will also be 10%. Um, you'll have a blog and um, essentially what is a, an online discussion board, those are each worth 5% and attendance and participation is worth 5%. Um, so the grading scale is here, it's fairly um, obvious. If you need an incomplete for some reason, say some horrible situation occurs, or you have a, a huge illness occur in the family or something like that that really disrupts your studies. Um, for example, I had a student who was in the hospital for two and a half months in his last semester, um, in my last semester. So that type of thing, uh, merits an incomplete. If, if you do merit an incomplete, that's something that we can work on together. It requires the college, it requires a lot of paperwork, um, but it is something that we can work on, but it's only for extreme circumstances. Um, 
essay. So as I said, you have three major essays for me, and each one is going to be due by midnight on the Sunday night that it is assigned for the, 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 that week. Um, so everything you do for me will go on a week by week basis. So all of your materials for that week will be open to you, but you'll have to have it all turned in by Sunday night at midnight. Um, that is an absolute must. There is no extension because again, it is semi self paced. So it's your responsibility to make sure you're keeping up with all of that week's work. Um, and I'm just giving you an example. When I put the weeks up, I'll say week one, week two, week three, and I'll give you the work week date. So that's Monday through Friday. So that's September 12th through 16th, let's say, is week three. That's Monday, September 12th through Friday, September 16th. Your, your assignments for that week are due on that Sunday, that following Sunday. So, so that would be September 18th. Um, so I just want to make sure that's very, very clear and everyone understands that. Um, for essays, you do have basic MLA formatting requirements, and that is part of your grade. So, um, one inch margins, double space, Times New Roman, Arial, Cambria, 12 point font. Um, we'll go over all that again before your first essays. So you will go over it several times. But um, make sure that you understand that all essays and assignments will be checked through uh, SafeAssign. So, if you've never used it before, SafeAssign is very, very good. Um, they, if, they, if you pull anything from another paper, even the paper you've written, or a paper from another student, or anything from the internet at all. Um, it will highlight and show me exactly where you got it. It'll take me to the website. It'll highlight the exact lines that are similar or that are the same. Um, so it's very good at catching plagiarism. And quite honestly, I just want to put this as a caveat. It's just not worth it. Um, if, if you do plagiarize, I'm going to go over that in a second, but it's just not worth plagiarizing three essays. Um, so please just don't do it. Um, late work, again, late work will not be accepted. It's just because it is, there's a quite manageable amount of work each week and it's up to each student to make sure they get their work done on time. Um, so again, late work will not be accepted. Um, <clears throat> grades, if you've never used uh, Blackboard, you'll see, I'll show you, there's a grade, sort of a grade book tool, my, it's called My Grades. Um, that you can use to track your grades as we go. So you don't actually have to ask me. I will keep your grades updated regularly so you can see what your, your current grade is as we go throughout the course. Um, there is an attendance policy on this class. Uh, TCC has an online attendance policy. So if, if you're missing more than 15% of the instruction or the work, um, it is at the uh, instructor's discretion to drop you from the class. So make sure you understand that. Um, and the withdrawal policy, if you need the withdrawal policy, it's all right here. Um, and TCC, again, all the information on the website um, should you need it. Again, participation just means that you are completing all of your assignments. You are doing any peer work that I've assigned um, and you're keeping up with things on a regular schedule. Um, and then important dates, this is important. So classes begin obviously August 29th. I believe your last ad drop date is September 9th. Um, I think that's the last chance to get the 100% um, refund. Thanksgiving break is going to be November 23rd through 27th, and then your final day of class is December 15th. Um, and here's my caveat about plagiarism. Um, basically, my, my, my emphasis is just please don't do it. Um, if you plagiarize something, it doesn't matter you know, whether it's a couple lines or a paragraph or the entire paper. Um, and plagiarism also includes copying, say, an earlier assignment from the course and using it as your paper. Um, so I'll have you write things throughout the course say it's about a particular author and you want to use that in your paper, you can absolutely draw from it, but I don't want to see you copying it word for word because that's really not, um, it's not showing growth, uh, intellectual growth. So um, if you plagiarize, um, you can receive a possible failing grade on the assignment, um, you, can be, you can fail the course, and you can also face suspension or expulsion from the college. So it's really, 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 truly not worth it. Um, please don't do it. Give me three to four page essays of your own volition, of your own uh, making, and uh, we should be great. So the, the TCC plagiarism policy is right here from the handbook. It is something that you are um, agreeing to as, as a TCC student. Um, and for me, the instruction information. So again, this is an online class. So for me, usually any emails, questions, queries, we responded to within 24 hours. Um, uh, all assignments and assessments, major assignments particularly like essays, will be returned within two weeks of the original due date. And this is because I have three sections of this class. So everything is due at the same time. So that's um, 90 plus essays to grade every time. So I'll be rotating the classes in and out, which, which class gets graded first. Um, but everything will be returned within two weeks. Um, if you need an online office hour, I can do that. Um, 
I can, there's an instant message function I will show you on the website. You can actually chat with me in real time. Um, and, but I, that's only upon request. Um, and then if you need student support services, all the information is here. So um, here's the list of uh, available services. If you have a disability service and you talk, contact the DC, DSS, um, you can actually tell me if there's a disability that needs to be accommodated directly, or you can talk to them and they can tell me if you'd rather remain um, anonymous. Um, and then technical requirements. So um, again, make sure everything's up to date. Uh, Firefox, Mozilla, Safari are the preferred browsers. Um, Turn off your pop-up blockers, enable the plugins. That, um, that can be a bit of a tricky one, especially if you're trying to do it on a mobile app. A lot of the plugins and Flash um, things will not work on a tablet or your phone. So um, know that you're probably going to need some kind of actual computer for this. Um, make sure you have Adobe Reader, Java, and then Office Suite. This is really important. Um, your essays have got to be turned into me on a, a Microsoft Word format. Um, just because of the plagiarism detection and because of the formatting. Um, so if you give me pages or PDF, it's not going to work. So I need you to find some kind of, of free free system or something where you can use Microsoft Word. I'm going to make sure everything is free of spyware and then make sure you use your MyTCC email account. Um, <clears throat> for technical issues or power outages, there is a 24-7 help desk, um, and this is the number, if you have a technical issue, the first thing I want you to do is call them. Um, you should then also send me an email with the, the time of the issue. And then if you could screenshot it, I've been doing this long enough, I've been able to kind of do a workaround of some of the problems that come up on Blackboard. Um, and I might be able to try and help you. But again, the help desk is the most um, efficient way to get you the proper help that you need. Um, so that is your syllabus. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Like I said, make sure you download a copy of this and keep it. Um, I do have a quick quiz for you guys in a little bit to go over this. And otherwise, I'm really excited to have you guys in the class. Thanks.